Good morning, guys. Welcome to Friday morning. It is party day, and we have a lot to get ready before the party starts. I'm the only one home, so I had to bring all the dogs with me. All of our dogs are scared of the animals. <laughs> Hi, big guy. You were on last night's video, too. You got hay everywhere. Oh, isn't he so cute? You're so cute. Yes, Winston. Baby Winston is still a good boy. Mwah. Come on, Molly. Get used to the pig. Get used to the pig. Come on. <laughs> She's actually scared of the animals. In fact, most of our pets are scared of the animals. That's it. Daisy and Ruby will not come in the animal pens. They hate it. But come on, Laura. You can't spend all day playing with the animals. Stop licking his butt. Everybody, all of our dogs like the pig's butts. Before I can start my day, I need to make sure that the pigs have clean water because it's gonna be a hot day. For some reason, my hose isn't working. It's not even coming through the hose. Any chance Molly can get to get away from the animals? She does. All right, I got it working. Come on, she is a little, <laughs> she is a little water dog. Come on, get out. Do some clean piggy pools. All right, there's number one. Gross. <laughs> I love to just sit here and watch everybody play. Come here. And Winston likes to just sit here and watch with me, huh, Win? Hi, Winston. Hi. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? Nice fresh pool. All right, I have a horsey question. My question is this. Everybody does it differently. Every, there's all different ways to do horses. You guys know that. There's Everybody has their own... <laughs> their own way. <laughs> yep, now I got two water dogs on my hands. Look at Elise actually just swimming in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the pig is like, get out of my pool, it's mine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the puppy is playing with the water. So my question is this, we, every season, before we put our horses on grass, we let it grow. We let it grow to like eight to 12 inches, I think 12 inches maybe. I can't remember, I have like a little yardstick that I measure, but, um, and we do that so that the horses aren't eating like the shorter, sweeter grass. And when we put them out there, they don't have a choice. All the grass is long, so they don't really have a choice. So that's what we do. But then I've read a lot of other people they let the grass grow and then they go out and they bush hog it so that it's all, uh, so that it's shorter and that so all the stocky big pieces which you want them to eat um, are gone and the reason they do that is because they say that horses don't really like to eat that part so when they bush hog it and get rid of all the weeds and all the stocky bits then their horses can go back out and eat it eat it better but then you're running the risk of them having too much sugar so anyway I wanted to know what is your opinion comment below and tell me what which of the two you do do you wait till the grass is stocky and high before you leave it for them or do you oh my God, the dogs. these dogs have ADHD for sure <laughs> oh my gosh and I wanted to tell you what I've noticed. All right, that's the best you are gonna get. Let's go over there now. So what I've noticed is that whenever, so this was a big, huge, stocky, weeded mess. Bush, we bush hogged it. And like literally a couple weeks later, like three weeks later, 
it's like a gorgeous field that the horses would live for. When we don't bush hog it, it grows tall, they eat what they want, it dies, it's gone for the season. When we bush hog it halfway through, when they've eaten like the most of what they want, we bush hog it, it comes back like this. Like this is the end of August and this whole field and the, that field over there are these beautiful, lush, amazing fields of hay. Like I just can't even believe it. So I used to be a big believer in only turning your horses out in big, tall, stocky hay so that they didn't get the sugar. But now we will always bush hog halfway through. We'll let them eat down as much as they're gonna eat. We'll let them eat down as much as they're gonna eat, take them off, bush hog it, and let it grow for a few weeks. Because it's like, it's a never ending field of hay for them during the season. I'm so proud of that. Like, I'm so happy that Sam does that. I know, you are covered in a mess. I see it. You're a dirty dog. I'm just filling up uh, Posey's pool so that she can have one. It has green, that, that kind of pool gets more algae in it. And I'm not a fan of it, but I'm afraid to like clean it with my hands because I'm afraid of getting bacteria in my fingers. So I just clean it as much the best I can with the hose and that's what she gets. The goats heard me, so they came to say hi. You guys, which is your favorite of all of our goats? Do you like the mean old girl who's actually so sweet, she's just, she's just shy? Do you like the spoiled mean girl that is an absolute brat? That's Blossom. Do you like Lola who, was, who we rescued from the sales barn and she is eternally grateful and loving and wonderful? Do you like Cricket, who is my personal favorite because she's the equal amounts of shy and friendly. So she's never a bad girl. She's the sweetest goat. She's the best goat ever. Or do you like this little baby who is hell on wheels? She's the equivalent of Ellie, this little Ellie goat. What's your favorite of all of our girl goats? Do you pick based on personality or do you pick based on color? Because I think Lola is such a stunning goat. Right, so the house is clean. The pigs have their pools refreshed. Right, check. Grass is all cut. The next step is picking up all the dog poop. My absolute favorite thing to do when, when people come over is share our animals. I am so excited about that. I can't wait them to see the pig who's changed and grown so much this year. That's the funniest looking lap dog I ever saw. She, she wouldn't care, she couldn't care less if Sophie carried her everywhere. That's part of her personality. That's why she's not like big on going in with the animals. She's, she's a princess and she's so cute. You know what's so weird? We never use, we never use this side of the yard ever. And it's just so cute over here. Girls are picking up the poop. I got smart and let them. And I am trying to set up the fireplace. Okay, so people are bringing chairs, so, we're because we definitely don't have enough. But I have this thing too, that can either become like a laying down chair or it can be like a bench that the kids can sit on. We got the wood. Hopefully this is all the wood that we need. But Sam got all that ready for us. I sense there's a dog in the woods. Who is it? Kirby? It's Kirby. Kirby. Kirby, come on. Come on, Kirby. It's really fun seeing like all their personalities come out. Come on, Kirby. Come on. Come on, Kirby. She's probably chasing a chicken in there. She's not. It was Kirby. Ellie's like, come on, Kirby. Hey. So we're going to have like a party and a fire with chickens. Chickens are going to be here. It's so nice over here. Like just sitting here. This is how I imagine the fire to be. It's gonna be crazy though. 
There's poop over by the house too. I love how they're like totally miserable, but they're miserable together. <laughs> it's the cost of having dogs, you guys. It's the cost of having dogs. And there's not a lot of poop on the ground because we pick it up all the time. So this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna, it's gonna look like, you guys, but I'm gonna video at the party. I'm so excited. We love this party. We have this every single summer and it's so much fun. We need to go find some bug spray. The first batch of people are here and we're setting it up. We changed, we changed where we're gonna set up. This is it, this is gonna be the compound. We got a tent, we're just waiting for Sam to blow up the tent. My sister's in her Snuggie already. Now what's the, what are those things called again? I have them too, I have two of them. Uggy, Oogie. Yeah, I forget. Anyway, I have two of those. I might put mine on too. That's a good idea. <laughs> we are going down. I can't confiscated the children. What's the sign say? No kids allowed. Is that what it says? Good. <laughs> it says keep the goat gate closed. So I confiscated the kids and they're all coming to help do chores, put all the animals away. Look at, she's so brave behind a fence. No, that's a new one. Squat down and he, he'll come up to you. Don't go fast, see? Like this, only him. Come here. Come here, big boy. See, he's nervous because you're new. Look, if you squat down like me and are quiet, he'll come to you and then you can scratch him. Oh, and the dogs are running into me, see? You just have to be gentle. Not very many people know how to handle pigs. The dogs are like, don't pet him, pet me. He's smelling you. Are any of you a girl? That's what he wants a girlfriend so badly. He's like, which one of you is a girl? He's the first baby born on our farm and he loves all people. So he needs love. <laughs> Why are they staring at you? <laughs> They're like, hmm, you guys are strangers, but I really want to go in that door because that's where the food is. Come see the pig. She's just checking you out. She's like, okay, see if you qu you're quiet. And yeah, I might give her a little bit more than that because, well, that looks like enough. There's a mystery animal in this barn. A mystery animal. Whoever finds it first wins. But let's let the goats in first. No adults can play. Jeez Louise. It's not the pig. It's a mystery one. It's a mystery one. Nope, it's not an animal that belongs in here. Look at that baby. Isn't she cute? All right, let's see if they can find it. A mystery animal. Really hot, really hot. <laughs> Burning up. Really it hot. Like my hand. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Is it still there? Oh, it's something. Can you see? But apparently, they couldn't. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You're afraid of a baby chicken? She's so little. Will she attack? She oh, maybe. She attacked. Oh my gosh. Stop. I'm so gentle with you. There you go. Let the girl do it first, and then you guys will be brave. <laughs> Smart. All right, we're done in here. All right, so we're gonna do no, the chicken show. Molly. Molly, go sit down. Molly, go lay down. Molly loves kids, loves them. Molly and Kirby. Is that 
get ready. They thought that these were the, all the chickens that we had. Everybody's got a snack. Look at, look at the turkey. <laughs> He's carrying a piece of watermelon far from everybody else. Come on! Ellie. Hold on. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't want to do it either. You gotta hold it. You do it. <laughs> You're not supposed to hold it. Woo! Oh, come on. They don't hurt you. The ducks are coming. Come on, duckies. They're miniature ducks. He says there's none on his head yet. I said, oh, just wait. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> when everybody else gets here, we'll do the same thing, okay? It, yeah, it's so fun to see people respond to our friendly chickens. No, don't come over. If you're gentle and quiet, they'll learn to like you, and then they'll jump on your lap, and it's really fun. I gotta go get bug spray. Oh look, the ducks are going to check out the tent. <laughs> You'll have a little stalker. You guys are gonna be sleeping with ducks tonight. All right, so we sent the kids to collect the eggs. We got these eggs. How many did you get? Um, let's Seven. try to go first. All right, and then she got these eggs. You got two blue, a green, and three brown. And then, wow, you got two green. No, a green and a blue, and then a bunch of brown. That's a lot of eggs. Whatever you collect, you can take home. You wanna take them home? No. Do you want to take them out? They're really good. They're fresh eggs. Farm fresh eggs are the better eggs than any other kind of eggs. I'll take them. The yolk is orange and that means it's really healthy for you. What in the world? This is what happens when you invite young adults. Look, a stitch. So this is going to be a non-alcoholic no game. So not everybody is here yet. Oh, three sisters all together. My husband Sam sits far away, and you guys look at this puppy. It's seven weeks. Like it doesn't taste good. It dries your mouth out instantly, and it just tastes. It's seven weeks old, oh. and it has <laughs> and it has no eyeballs. It's completely. It has what does it have? Mini eyeballs? Microfilmia. It has microfilmia. Completely deaf. Bro, no, not deaf. Completely blind. Stop. Isn't it cute? Ellie likes it. <laughs> He's, he's like, are you my mama? You should add something in that it doesn't have any fear. You guys, there may be a sixth puppy on the day-by-day -day farm. It's so cute. I'm cuddling her. It's a girl, actually. Sorry, you guys can't see. But she's red. It's my favorite kind. And I love toy poodles. She's actually a mini poodle, but she looks like a toy size. Isn't she so cute? We got more people showing up every minute. We got more people coming. How many more people do we have coming? <laughs> it was like $47 a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we like How many more people do we have coming? I have my two kids. <laughs> two kids. So, are Amanda coming? No. All right, so. Amanda is Bobby's wife. All right, so we found out that we ended up with a problem here. We have all these girls. And no men for poor Sam. She's over there all alone. My nephew is here somewhere. Why didn't you go on a walk with Dylan with the kids? <laughs> Sam's at the wrong campfire. But look at that campfire. It's looking good. Don't you know?